All right, we. I think, uh, I think my arm's fixed. We it. fucked. It looks okay. We did the stuff, and also thank you for the Morning, suggestion Torvar. about the. Uh, yeah. Hello. Th wow. Thanks. That's surprising. Fun. Surprisingly, I'm a decent amount of people for yeah. you know a morning show for yeah. no no one usually being here. Get away from me! Well, I assume that like, people, who, like Virtual Alcon, who can't watch it on like live, I assume he goes and checks it out on YouTube. Or imagine so, yeah. Yeah. And all, uh, Eric work. Eric works from the day. Eric. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. Just Eric. <laughs> just Eric. <laughs> Eric being Eric. <laughs> This is the time you get up and make your kid breakfast every day at 10.30 a.m.? Dude, go back down to the big key door. Is a, oh, look, Fair is 100% right once again. You're going into work? Well, I consider this to be my job, so I guess I'm at work too. My job is playing Zelda with Dave, my best friend. It's a shitty job. <laughs> <laughs> I know. If it was anybody else, it would be better. <laughs> It's gonna be better if you're be someone you probably be something you don't even like. What do you mean? Shut the fuck up. Ah, oh. Trouble. Trouble, man. Ouch. Hey! Hi! Well done! I just looked at the almond. What do we do? We can't even touch what's trapped that ice little melt it off so Wait, really? We already got We already got the, the boss? The 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 no, boss key? the boss is Ouch. My job was building servers, picking issues with servers. I enjoy it thoroughly. Did you tell Dave Happy Valentine's Day? Happy Valentine's Day, Snookums. Ew! <laughs> Snookums. Ew. <laughs> Everything about that statement is horrible. Usually watch while cooking and doing chores. Yeah, like, I, that's when I watch Sargon. Like, if I, if I want to sit down and watch like, a Sargon video, I'll usually watch when I'm, like, doing the dishes or something. Doing fucking Dave's dishes, he never does them. <laughs> oh, hello, what are you? Oh, man. Very good. Boring. It's kind of neat that, like, they get the boss key, like, right at, done right out of the way, you know? Like, holy shit. We barely did anything. I think they did that in, uh, Link Between Worlds as well. Did they? I think there was a dungeon like that. One of the dungeons in Skyward Sword, um, you, you, yeah, you, you die, but, yeah. yeah. Die, die. One of the dungeons in Skyward Sword, it's one of the later ones, it's a dungeon where it's just nine rooms, and they're all symmetrical, the rooms of the same size, and you're given the map before you enter the dungeon, they just give you the map. And you have to, like, arrange the rooms, that, like a pattern, like, like move them around. Oh, sure. Well, like a giant lever, and just, you can just... Yeah, and the rooms just move around, and, and you're like, because like all the rooms have different like weird paths like crossing over, and you gotta like make the paths line up so you, get, you can actually get somewhere. Hmm. It's kind of a new way of doing it. So like they give you the map right away because like you need to know what you're doing with the levers, right? Yeah. To be honest, I think playing games as a job would ruin games for me, but only newer games. I think I kind of. Here's the thing, Eric, I, I kind of feel the same way as you, which is why I definitely, like, value- You can swim across, man. No, you can't. Why not? Because it's too high up. Oh. Remember the whole thing? Oh shit, you're right. Yes. Uh, I, I kind of agree with you, Eric, but, um, th that's why we mainly play older games in the show, like... Oh! Oh! <laughs> it just dies. BAM! Just disintegrates. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Girl. What do you have to say for yourself, young thing? The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. Thanks, buddy. You have to hide some games for yourself. Yeah, exactly. You gotta, like, say, okay, I'm playing this one on my own. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is the pot. Yeah. See, it's, it's a pot. Just, just dive down. Like there are certain so there are certain new games that I absolutely will want to play on my own, like you know, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, which does have DLC. They confirmed it. There's three DLC packs for it. Yeah, and like a season pass, you know, the whole thing. Um, well, it's, it's one of the more people in the chat actually mentioned already. Yep, but I also saw it before we like I saw the game in here this morning. Uh, but you didn't see about Michael Flynn. No, what I didn't. 
Fuck no. Dude, Legend of, Legend of Zelda is more important than fucking Donald Trump. <laughs> You from six months ago could hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> Trump is Trump is the most important man in the world. Did you not know that? He was, he was before. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you speak about God Emperor Trump in such a fashion? Yeah, like I, I do. Trump. I have kind of held the opinion that I I can play any game on this show and enjoy it. That doesn't necessarily mean that I want to. <laughs> Yeah. How did a, how did a uh, this is an ice dungeon? How did a, how, how, how did, did a lily pad get Yeah. Here? Fuck, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I kind of in, I remember really insisting on uh, Uncharted Four. Like, I, I don't want to play that on the show. No, I, and here's the thing: I agree because you played one, two, and three on your own. Meanwhile, Naomi has never played it, and she wanted to play it on the show. So I was like, yeah, you and I can play. It. You can play the whole series. I remember, like, we were down the, the, the first night. Bad rats for NTG. Oh God, we were playing. What um, the hell is that? It's a really shitty game. This is how Dave drives IRL. <laughs> Bad rats is actually. Get out of I here. um. <laughs> I was driving a lot yesterday. Were you? So Dan. Oh yeah, Dan. Neighbor Dan. Yeah, fucking Dan is like. Hey Dave, can you get up at like 3 a.m. and bring me to the airport? It was like quarter to four, but yeah. <laughs> you just gotta go, man. You gotta take the hit. And just go. Downtown Abbey Gabe, get out of here, downtown Abbey Gabe. Yeah, I I basically, it was, it was like a half hour from here to the, um, the yeah. Sudbury Airport. Yeah. And that's fine. I was like, whatever. So we go there, and then I'm driving his car back. And as soon as I get back, and it's 5 a.m., he calls me and he says, and he says, yeah, so my flight got canceled. And they Come only get just, me. They only just told me. I'm like, fuck! You gonna swim there or are you gonna bring the lily pad with you? I should bring the lily pad. Just in case? Yeah. I don't think they'd. Well, dude, why? Yeah. I don't, I don't see why like, they'd have. The, the, the barriers coming down. Otherwise, you ever been to that airport? You're not missing much. Yeah, it's pretty sparse, man. It's just like an airfield, like a it's corn field. <laughs> well, uh, not completely that bad, but it, it's pretty small. No idea where it is. It's like north of town. Um, yeah, it's northeast. We're uh. It's for it's outside of Garson. <laughs> uh, what is it with you and Garson? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Fuck Garson. <laughs> Bionicle, the game for Andy. Fuck off! Why not? I'm not playing. Okay, if we're gonna be playing any Lego game, it's gonna be Lego City Undercover. Yeah, here's the thing. When I bought my Wii U, I got a free copy of Lego City Undercover. And Dave's like, we should do that on the show someday. And I'm like, yeah, and we just keep forgetting about it. It's like, a, it's like a goofy, stupid game. I've mentioned it several times. Why don't we do it, man? Because you, like, you're like, da, 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 uh, person. Person? Person, man. Uh, Let's do it tomorrow. Fuck it. What? Do you really want to play Sonic 06 again? No. Then let's do fucking Lego City Undercover. <laughs> Le Lego Or you could, you know, get to the end of Curse of Eve. I'm not doing that in one day. When you say north of me in Canada, you freeze your dick off. <laughs> Canada's pretty cold, yeah. There's like a blizzard happening right now. So it's only gonna get worse too. I check out the, the weather news. Like, Ontario, from like basically where we are, all the way east, is getting hammered with like 30 centimeters. That's it, a foot, it, by the way. It's like a huge, huge amount of snow. Is it huge or is it huge? Huge. But no, it, it's supposed to be like one of the biggest blizzards that we're gonna get this season. It's just coming up. This season? Yeah. Just ever. No, not ever. Biggest blizzard. Moj, hey X zero one. Yeah, man, we're getting like a massive blizzard is coming up, and uh, oh. Dave and I were like, "Do you really want to go and shovel the driveway right now? We're just gonna get absolutely hammered with snow again." We're and Dave's getting, like, "No, we're, we're just getting butt we're, we'll just today. do it again. We'll just do it tomorrow because like after tomorrow it's gonna, it's gonna be like five days of like decent weather. So let's just let's, let's just get get snowed in, and then we'll just do it tomorrow. Let's get snowed in. Let's, let's get go rushing and get snowed in. Yeah." So what time are we at? No, fucking 10 minutes. I gotta get better internal time. Yeah, no shit. Like, you see, do the Lego games co-op? Wait, 
Turn this shit off and do it right now. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll do it tomorrow. Meanwhile, Texas, I have my, my AC on. Fuck Texas, dude. Fuck you, Texas. And, and fuck, fuck your Lone Star, Star beer. beer. Fuck that fucking Alamo and fuck the Longhorn Steer. Fuck every Dallas cowboy that ever drawed a breath. Fuck you, Texas. Something, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I kind of get what's going on here. You want, you want what to do? Yo, where'd the high school girls in cute traps at, Moj? Um, well... I wish I could tell you. Because I don't mind. I wouldn't mind a high school girl or a cute trap. Because I like high school girls, that's why! You're fucking Kimura! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Kimura is the shit! Kimura is the fucking... I like high school girls! Well, I know, this is easy, this is easy. Okay, push this, that, push that one, one there. Yeah. And then push that one down there, up. Yeah. Or not that one. Oh. You go, you no, go. I know, I, it's it's ice, Deb. It's, it's slippery. Australia is 50 Celsius, good god. Ew. We get, like, like the absolute highest Canada gets is 40 Celsius, like, once a, once a year. Uh... We had 40, it was 42 or 43 in Toronto one year when I was there. They're probably whining their asses. The Tron Torontonians are so just... Well, dude, for, 43 is pretty fucking hot, man. And they're like, still pussies. It's like, oh, they got six inches of snow. We're gonna call in the fucking National Guard. <laughs> oh my god, Toronto, fuck off. They, well, whatever the equivalent One is. reason I'm never gonna fucking go to Toronto again. Well, they can handle the heat more than they can handle the winter. I remember like my first year of university up in Thunder Bay where it's like minus 60 degrees Celsius in the winter and there's like a dude from Saudi Arabia he's like yeah I got myself a light jacket I think I'll be okay so like, you're just gonna fucking die buddy grow that beard some more cuz you're gonna need it <laughs> yeah your Sharia law will not save you now yeah Sharia like well actually Sharia makes common sense in cold areas you can like bundle up anyway <laughs> Actually, that, that, that reminds me, um, a Muslim woman living in Canada wrote that she she's generally, like, people are friendlier to her in the winter because people think she's just wearing, like, a balaclava to stay warm, rather than, like, a headscarf because she's Muslim. And I'm just like, how about you stop believing in fucking sky people, asshole? Sky people. What, like, the moon god? Kelly had an inch and got a statewide emergency. So, so, so stupid, man. So fucking stupid. Just get over yourselves. Dude, California's ridiculous. Have you heard what, what, what went down there recently? Um. Oh, what was that? I'm guessing some kind of hippie bullshit. Yeah. Oh. I just want you so out of me. It's so dark, it's going to make it from my face. Watch your step. Oh. What do I trip? What do I trip? Oh, no, not there. Let's get ice and shut down. Now, in California, um, a dam broke because they, they, like, completely neglected it. Oh, really? And now, like, all the people who were saying, like, Cal exit because of Donald Trump's victory are, like, petitioning the federal government for funds to, like, fix it because everyone's fucking dying in California right now. Like, yeah. Northern California just got flooded. It's, like, one of the biggest dam breaks in American history. Well, they were complaining about the drought before, so yeah. I guess it just went the other way. Oh, wait, you're leaving this Nintendo? Are you going to work or something, buddy? And you abandon us. <laughs> oh no! Places to get snow is up and have the infrastructure to cope with it. Share ice cap zone privilege. Ice cap zone privilege. Oh, I have a, I've had ice caps before. Okay. I understand not That's having the infrastructure, but it's one fucking inch. You can get over it, goddamn southerners. Like, one inch won't kill you. It will not. Also, like, people, especially Americans, like, they, like the climate is just hoisting them by their own guitar. Really, they're like, climate change doesn't real. Why is my city flooding? <laughs> climate change doesn't real? Yeah, I was, yeah, yes, that was the point. Yes, that, that, yes, did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. Did I get some necessities to get? Oh, what are you getting, brother? Necessities, like, traps. <laughs> Gotta go buy like eight traps. What ant traps? No, just because those are just, fucking useless. Just, apparently. just girls with penises. Oh, okay. Well, it could be like an, an ant, like an ant uncle type. Oh, how do you do this? Just push it. No, you're not big enough. You probably need two. That's why there's a two. Toilet paper, food. Nice. Go buy some. Uh... 
Maybe you should get you should get some some chitlins. <laughs> chitlins and gravy? Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Once we get more sunlight, it'll melt. Sounds good to me. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, stop getting hit. I assume most of you children are born nine months after the depths of winter. <laughs> depths of winter. Um. Yeah, I was conceiving. Wait, no. I was conceiving. November, that's winter for us, dude. Eh. Fucking mid October to like April. Yeah, <laughs> just, just, no. it's, not, it's, it's, not the, it's not the dead of winter though. No, it's not. Oh, I know. You weren't either. June, man. Yeah, no. I was. Like I was June eighth. You were like August twenty fifth or some shit. August eighth. Oh my god, Dev. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I seriously remember you having your birthday like in late August every single summer when we were kids. So I was like, it's like 25th, 22nd, something like that. But none of that is true. That's what I remember. And if I remembered, it was true. No, Dev. <laughs> that is that's, that's, that's... Actually, did, didn't you always have your birthday party at a different time, though? I only had, like, three birthday parties. Yeah, but wasn't it because, like... Uh, like, like conflict with like your parents' schedule with like the boat, the, the boat fucking show. boat, yeah. Come on. Don't, no, oh, oh. Question is, how should we, how should we go? The wrong way. <laughs> no, but you got a kid stone. Yeah, I figured there'd be something there. You got a kid stone. Why would you want a kid stone, Dad? You want to get a kid stoned? <laughs> well, you know why. <laughs> because it's, it's cool. Oh, God, that actually reminds family. me. Okay, um, Naomi's sister. This happened like back, back in in uh, like before Christmas. Okay, Naomi's sister shows up at work, and she asks me where Naomi is, and like we talk talk for a couple minutes. Meanwhile, my coworker Darby is like a 55 year old man. He's like beside me. Okay, and we were putting on a pallet of clementines. Okay. Oh my darling. Oh, and so parents love boat more than you. Yeah, kind of. Matter of fact, that feel when people. <laughs> Do you have the same issue? <laughs> I Did totally. You push the... Oh, that's gonna that's gonna open this up. Okay. Now you gotta like. Oh, I see what you gotta do. Oh, I get it. Okay. Anyway, no, we're putting those pilot Clementines, and Naomi's sister shows up, and she asks where Naomi is, and we talk for a few minutes, and then and then um she leaves. She leaves. And then Darby comes to me, this 55-year-old man, who's barely fucking hanging on. <laughs> Seriously, he has so many health problems. But he comes to me and he's like, is that, a, is that like a, a friend of yours, like from, from school or something? I'm like, from, from university? It's like, yeah, man. I'm like, Darby, she, she's a 12-year-old girl. And he goes, oh, oh, I thought, that, I thought she was like 18 or something. I'm like, Darby, is that what you tell the police? <laughs> 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 Officer, I thought she was 18. <laughs> <laughs> I told Naomi that after it happened, she got so fucking mad at me. She's like, you and Dave keep making pedophile jokes, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh wait, is this just the same boss as the first dungeon? I don't know that. Oh, oh, it is. <laughs> but it's an ice one. Oh, it's a, it's a lightning one. Oh, fuck. You need the light. No, yeah, you need the light, right? Like, didn't, didn't you need the light to stop these guys in, um... In, in Moonmaker? No, you didn't use any of this stuff, man. You hit him in, in, in the base. It's not working, is it? No. We we'll obviously need, need the light for something, so like, bring them the light. Like, hey. Oh, apparently it's... Let there be lightning. Hey, McLoggin. It's actually a decent time for you right now, isn't it? Isn't it like 3 p.m. or something? Or like 4 p.m.? Okay. Oh, wait. The gust jar? I don't know. Yeah, it was. Oh, nice. Ouch. Oh, you gotta hit it. 
you gotta like absorb him to like his tiniest amount and then hit him with your sword. Okay, I hit him. Hit him, hit him. Oh no, wait, wait, he has to fall over. It's like, oh fuck! Oh. You got it, you got it. It's 4 p.m. now? Well, I'm glad we can do a show that's more equitable to your time zone. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be time. Yes, it will. We'll do two, two shows a day from now on. One morning, one night. <laughs> would you fuck right off? <laughs> keep absorbing, keep absorbing. Because he, he's not like no, swaying. He, when, he's, when he is electrified, he is invincible. He's invincible. I like the bosses being normal enemies and you're small. Yeah, me too. It's kind of a nice little touch, huh? Oh, this guy takes a lot of freaking hits. He's a blue one, man. He's a blooster. Wait, wasn't the first temple called the Temple of Droplets, not this one? Ouch. Ah. Ouch. Get him, get him, get him. Fuck! Him. He just kept jumping! Yeah, I thought the first I thought the first dungeon was called Temple of Droplets. I mean, it doesn't even make sense for this one to be called it, because droplets implies water. Like, tiny amounts of water, and the entire first dungeon was a water temple. This is a nice temple. Mm. I don't get it, man. I don't need it. Go get him. Get him. You ready? Start sucking. Start sucking. Fuck! Turn Stupid around. ass Turn around. Turn around. shit! Yeah! Oh, yeah. nice. Just gotta do it before he flops over on you. I hate this D-pad. <laughs> you hate the D-pad? They're a great YouTube channel, babe. They invited us to a Mario Kart 8 uh, tournament. Shut up, Dev. Shut, shut the fuck up. Mm. Mario Kart 8 tournament. Oh, it's a surprise, guys, because we're out of time, so you're gonna oh. find out next time. Bye. <laughs>